in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the Y2K transition in all things. I hope you guys like the preview of this Y2K glow transition and if you guys didn't know I just updated the TV Glyphs presets pack and if you guys want to check this pack out I'm going to give you guys a discount code it's going to be Pelle if you use that code you will save five dollars let's start with the tutorial now so I'm in After Effects I've added two clips here I'm going to be showcasing the transition on and we're going to start off by adding a adjustment layer so you're going to press ctrl alt y and this adjustment layer is going to be 24 frames in width so you're going to go 12 frames from the transition point to the right and then 12 frames to the left nice now we have the adjustment layer done here i'm going to do, go to the transition point here press the store key so now i have a marker there and the first effect i'm going to be adding is called glint and this is how the effect is going to look here very very cool it really gives that y2k kind of style here and uh, this is kind of glittering uh, look here and we're going to keyframe the brightness at one and stop where it is and the threshold to zero so it seems to be glowing a ton here at the transition point then go to the end set the threshold to one and the brightness to zero beginning set the threshold to one brightness to zero after that you're going to open up the adjustment layer effects glint here mark the keyframes all of them press f9 to easy ease them. I'm going to open up the brightness graph here. So I'm going to select one of the keyframes, go to the graph here, and I'm going to make this a little bit sharp. This graph here. So I'm going to drag this one in, this one in like that. These ones as it always works fine. Go back, quit the graph, and then go to the threshold graph. Here, do the same. Just drag these two ones at the bottom in. Maybe drag this one a little bit more and this one as well just make it a little bit sharper this is the look we have so far and as i told you guys in the beginning i just updated the tv glitch presets pack so i'm going to be showing some effects from that pack so if you guys just make adjustment layer pull up y here we can add the tv glitch effect 22 and this is how the effect is going to look here very very cool you can make another adjustment layer here we have the tv glitch effect 10 this effect is more of a low quality kind of crt style very very cool one more effect we have the tv glitch effect one and this is how the effect looks really really cool in my opinion and these three effects are just yeah three effects out of over 20 so you guys have a lot of effects in the pack and i think they are really really cool and if you guys want to check this pack out you can use the discount code pelle to save five dollars but yeah let's get back to the tutorial now after this glint here, I would like to add a blur to this, so I'm going to be adding lens blur. I'm going to drag this one above the glint effect here. Keyframe the iris scale at the transition point, go to the end, set it to zero, go to the beginning, set it to zero, a Y2K glint glow transition. I think it looks very very good, and if you guys want to use this another time, you guys can open up the adjustment layer, you guys can mark all the effects by pressing Ctrl A. Hold shift, mark the keyframes, go to animation, name the transition, save, and then you have the transition save basically. So you guys can use it for another time. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you guys yeah, thought this effect looked good, don't forget to like and subscribe and share the tutorial. And don't forget to check out our website editingvisuals.com with pretty really good editing packs i would say you guys saw some of the effects earlier really really cool and don't forget to check out our socials especially our instagram and don't forget to join our discord server and i will see you guys soon take care and have a nice day